Hi, welcome to the National Oak University of Nigeria EDI for NISA. Right here, I want to quickly take you through on how you can apply on the NISA platform if you have not done so. And what are you supposed to do? First, you need to get used to the NISA website. And here is the NISA website address, https colon floss right. You have agreements app nmfb.com.ng copy this web address and put it into your browser here we have copied and we paste it here on our browser and all you need to do just press your enter key and it will take you to this uh, place right here up here you will have apply now the same thing apply now sign in sign in so whichever one you click it takes you to the same place if you want to know more, you can go to about or know how it works and frequently ask questions. So right here, if you have already applied on the NISA platform and you are coming back, all you need to do is to click here, sign in, or you click it from here, sign in. Then you enter your detail. But if you are coming in for the first time, you have not applied before, you have to click apply now, which we're going to do now. Click on apply now. It will now bring us this. We see you have to drop down menu. You have apply as applicant. You have apply as EDI. So if you are going to apply, you are applying as an applicant because you are not an EDI. The EDI are the training centers. For those that want to apply in as a training center, they will click on apply as EDI. But you as an applicant who wants to apply for loan, you are going to click on apply as an applicant. So click apply as an applicant. It brings you to this environment. And this environment, this is a process we call the onboarding stage. And it has five steps. You have step one, two, three, four, five. Because it takes you through the BVN, user registration, contact information, other information, and business information. So we are starting with the BVN verification. And your BVN verification, you know that it's usually given to you from the bank. And where there is uh, a miss or maybe your name on the BVN do not correspond with what you are putting here. It will not validate. So what I will advise is for you to go back and ensure that you put it the same way it appears in your BN, BVN verification number. So what do you do? Type your surname and your first name, then your BVN number. Once that is correctly entered, you press your click your proceed. And once you click proceed, it will validate. But if it is not correct, even if you click proceed, it will give you an error message. And this you need to walk through. You need to click on this before you can go to user registration, contact information, other information, and business information. These are information that only you can really provide. But where you need assistance, you can always meet us at the EDI and we give you a guide. Now, once you click, you have onboard. This is what you're going to see. Like this particular one, this person has already uh, registered in before. So if you are coming in for the first time, you are not going to see this loan application, this one in red. That's why I put it here, this loan application. You won't see it. You can take your time to read this if you are forgetting. You won't see this loan application. Why? Because you still have some other things you need to walk through. But you're going to see this. This is now your dashboard. You're going to come in here. It's your dashboard. This is a Jajeme dashboard, for example. And from here, what do you need to do next? You now come, you click on your loan application. I take you back again. You see it here? You click on your loan application. When you click on your loan application, it's going to give you all this. And here, you continue your loan application. Because it's within the loan application, you will now be able to come in to enter your personal details. And under the loan application, you have six steps. You have step one, step two to six. Step one, personal detail, business information, manage blink uh, plan. Then you have your guarantors validation, assessment test, submit your business plan. These are things you need to complete before you will be qualified to be assessed for the loan. And when you click on your personal details, click the first one, personal detail. These are the things you're going to have. You There are some parts that are already blocked. For example, your user ID, your surname, because you've entered them. 
So already they are there. You won't need to touch it again. It will not even give you opportunity to type. Here you see some points here that are showing red. It's telling you you must supply those information. So you put here your gender, female, uh, marital status, married. If not married, you leave it. You are male. You put male. Then you enter your address, other personal details that are required. All these are personal details that you need to fill in your training information and other things. So once you are done filling in your details, now what is next? You will not be able to proceed to step two to six. Why? You have to now come for training. It is after the training with the EDI center, we enter your certificate code uh, into your NISA uh, platform that you have already filled. And with that code entered, you will now be able to assess from step two to six. So make sure that you attend the training. Do not miss the training for you to enjoy the benefit that the federal government has given you to get a loan and boost your business. You're welcome. Thank you.